Hello and good morning. Thanks for joining in today. Today I'm going to make a traditional chicken korma, which is quite colorful and more spicy and more fragrant. It was cooked traditionally in the weddings back home together with biryani. The recipe today serves about four people. It contains um, 600 grams of boneless chicken. You can use bony chicken if you want to. To start off with, I have taken some cooking oil, which is on medium heat. And I'm going to fry two medium sized finely sliced onions until they turn golden brown. So in goes the onions. So my onions are almost done. Just keep moving it around so they don't burn. And they brown evenly. Okay, I'm going to take the onions off the heat because they will start burning in a minute because they were quite caramelized. The quickest way of stopping them cooking is to sieve the oil out. I'm going to spread the onions onto a kitchen paper to dry them out. Spread them so they stop cooking. The beauty of this dish is you don't have to do much chopping. And this is the only chopping you have to do, which is the onions. Into the oil that I just sieved out, I'm going to put about a tablespoonful of ghee. This is only optional, just gives it a deeper flavor. If you don't have ghee, you don't have to use it. Just cooking oil will be fine. And into the oil, I'm going to put some whole spices. So I've got a couple of bay leaves, dry bay leaves. I've got a small piece of cinnamon stick and I've got half a dozen of green cardamoms, three cloves and about half a dozen to eight black peppercorns. We'll wait for a minute or so for this to start cooking because my oil has cooled down a little bit. I'm cooking it on low to medium heat. I don't want to burn my spices. So my whole spices are looking nicely hot and cooked. Into it I'm going to put a teaspoonful of ginger paste and after the ginger paste I'm putting one clove of garlic which I'm just going to grate in. So I can't smell the garlic anymore so it's nicely cooked. Now into this I'm going to put my chicken. And this will cook for about 8 to 10 minutes until the pink color of the chicken is gone and it is nicely sealed. So while this is happening, I'm going to show you my main spices I'm going to use. So these are the main spices I'm going to use. I'm going to make a paste out of these and I put the paste in my chicken which is still cooking. So I, first thing I have is salt according to your taste. I'm going to use a hand blender and so I'm putting them in a jug. I have got about half a dozen green cardamoms. Some of them I've taken out of their shell, just the seeds in there. Some of them are in their shell because shell has got a very lovely flavor and aroma. I got half a teaspoon full of garam masala. In addition, I have got a teaspoon full of chili powder, red chili powder. So after the chili powder, I'm putting two teaspoonfuls and a half of coriander powder. This is important because coriander is quite predominant spice in this dish. I got about half a teaspoonful of cumin seeds. About half a dozen to ten peppercorns. I have quarter teaspoonful of nutmeg powder or Jaifal is powdered. You can use a flour if you don't have the powder. So these are the main spices we are using. Into it I'm going to put a little bit of water and with a hand blender I'm going to blend this into a paste. 
so chicken seems to be coming along okay it seems to be quite well sealed as you can see the color has changed from pink to almost creamy white now into this i'm going to put our paste that we just made it's got a bit of water in it so i don't need to add any more water into the chicken at this stage now it is important from now on to keep the heat on medium heat and keep stirring the chicken because we don't want the spices to burn so my spices are cooking nicely i can't smell any raw spices anymore the bubbling is finished so there is no more water in left in there chicken is looking nice the smell is gorgeous chicken got another 15 minutes to go before it's fully cooked into this i'm going to start adding some yogurt So in all, I have put four tablespoonfuls of full of yogurt in there. We let the yogurt cook, so you can't see the yogurt. This will take about eight to ten minutes to do. So my yogurt is almost cooked away. You can see it looks nice color now. You can't see much yogurt in there. Now, since it's almost cooked, let's check the chicken whether it's cooked or not yeah my chicken is quite well done now so maybe another five minutes or ten minutes and the onions we fried earlier I'm going to put this into our dish and I am going to let these cook for another five minutes on low heat and cover the pot with the lid so my onions have been cooking in there for about 8-10 minutes now and really look nice, color is nice, smell is gorgeous. Going to make some sauce in it, so going to add some more water. You can add water as much as you want, as less, don't make it too watery and also it should not be very dry. So real korma or the korma I'm cooking is not a very dry sauce. Let it cook for a few minutes. So the chicken looks lovely, it's well cooked. The oil has come up, which is the secret. There is enough sauce for my taste. Last thing I'm going to put in there is cure water. Now it's derived from a flower of a plant called screw pine. It's extremely fragrant water. And this gives the korma its typical fragrance together with all the obviously all the spices we have put in so I'll try a teaspoon first I don't know how strong this water is if you're using a concentrated fragrance don't put too much because it would be too overpowering so I've started with a teaspoon and I'll give it a couple of minutes so I'm going to put a little bit more cure of water because it's quite dilute water maybe another teaspoon and I think that should be more than enough stir it around so it mixes evenly and switch the stove off and I'm going to cover it with the lid and we are ready to serve so that's about it the dish took just over an hour to cook we're going to garnish it with some fresh coriander I hope I've done justice to this dish because my mum used to cook one of the best ones and it reminds me of the weddings of my cousins and my friends I used to my dad used to take me to so we are going to have a quick taste you can have it with the rice if you want but for me it goes best with either chapati or naan bread I have got some naan bread here and I'm going to try it with some naan bread. Chicken is nicely done. Yes, I think my mum will be proud of me today. Really, really nice. Not over the top spicy because I don't like very hot food, but extremely flavoursome and extremely aromatic so please do try it this recipe of korma very classical very traditional and thanks for watching and until next time i see you soon